Following the opening night performance of Pal Joey, we spoke to the show's featured actors. And such a son-in-law as no one ever saw, the Taylor Steven Sky <laughs> Bell. Right, that's good, well, very that, good. That, 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 uh, not inappropriate. No, no. no. Right. How does it feel to be in a Rodgers and Hart musical on Broadway? Yeah, it feels wonderful. Thank you for asking. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, you can't minimize that experience. And I've, I've done musicals, but this is actually the first Rodgers and Hart opening night Broadway musical I've done. And I feel I'm happy to be a, you know, a part of history in terms of continuing the work. We were speaking with um, an actor recently, Dr. Knight, yeah. who was talking about the fact that uh, I asked him why there aren't, weren't many revivals, yeah. or rather productions of Rodgers and Hart done today, yeah. and there just aren't that many, yeah. and there always seems to be trouble with the libretto. Yeah, right, the Common book. Thing. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, you know, it predates the um, Oklahoma, which supposedly renovated how musicals right. work. So, and, and the thing about our production, which is interesting, is that songs that were book songs have now been made into show songs. So it's the songs themselves can be moved a little more easily than, say, um, songs from Oklahoma. You, you'd have to work harder to try and give them a different context, I think. But uh, I think Richard Greenberg has done an excellent job in setting, in setting the story in a new, new way for 2008. Uh, and still, I mean, you know, I know the, the Rogers and Hart Foundation are very, very pleased with how he's tinkered with it. And I think everyone is hopeful that, that the tinkering will help a piece that's always been a little troubled in terms of its appeal. Well, I saw the show uh, a week or two ago, I mm. guess, and I think it's in great shape. Oh, good, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful show. Yeah. And score is just... You know, to die for. Yeah, well, and, and you know, Paul Gemignani oh, as the musical right. director gets that band to make sounds. And you know, when we had our first rehearsal with the, the band, it was unbelievable in terms of how how they and Eric Stern, who did the dance arrangements, they took the score and then they just you know dressed it up so amazingly. So you can't sit in the audience and just not get caught up with it. It's so incredible. I agree. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank and you. And thank you for stopping by. All right, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Okay. Excellent. So, how does it feel to be doing uh, Richard Rogers and uh, Larry Hart? Well, you know, I just felt that they really needed to have a song for me, even though I don't sing. I was really looking forward to a song in my first musical, but uh, all fun aside, it was it was a great it was a. It's just a great time, great cast, and lots of fun, and uh, you know, and I and, and I really enjoyed the character. He had a real arc to the character, and um, it's been really a positive experience. It looks like you're having one heck of a time up there. Yeah, no, I am. I um, I feel really connected to it, and uh, I, I don't know what else to say. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank this is my son, Good Sam. I was going to say, Sam, I saw you uh, earlier this evening uh, working the crowd. Uh, I understand you're his agent, is that right? What? That you are his agent. No, I'm his son. Oh, that's how it works. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, great to be in a Rodgers and Hart musical. Well, yeah, how unusual. But uh, as, as you know, if you've been running the blog, this is an unusual show to do. And... Uh, I, you know, I've been in New York for a long time, and you're you're aware of the the hard attempts to get the thing onto Broadway that have never happened, and here we are. And uh, it'll be curious to see what the audience and the critical responses to the show because it's you know the thing that always compels theater people. Todd Haynes and I were talking about it about two weeks ago. What's compelling about the show always is it's a show about a jerk. What's difficult about the show is that it's a show about a jerk, and so... How can you like a jerk? Precisely. And so it, I'm curious to see what happens with it, you know. And, um, and of course, I get to be the, <laughs> the... When I got the audition and I got the, you know, the, the, they gave me the song, The Flower Garden of My Heart, I was like, okay, this is a show about a rooster, so if I'm singing a song about a flower garden, I know who I am. And it was just, I was delighted. This is one of the few Rogers and Hart shows that have, uh, that have been produced in New York, isn't it, Pal Joey? I'm thinking uh, for Broadway, the last big one was, um, I guess it was On Your Toes, wasn't it? With, uh, with, with, with uh, Makarova, and, uh, which was what, maybe 1987? 
Um, they don't happen often because the books aren't strong. And the thing that supports Pal Joey is that it's a strong story about something very adult. And uh, we'll see what happens. I know that they both thought it was the best score that they had either written. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time thank to you. visit us. And I saw your show last week. It's just great. You're great in it. Great. Thanks a lot. And keep blogging us. And uh, I hope you're stuck writing about us for another year. Please, God. All right. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. And that brings us to the close of the opening night FET here at Studio 54 for Rogers and Hart's 1940 classic, Pal Joey. On behalf of all of us here at the PJ Blog, good night from New York.